Well, for me personally, I, I like being outdoors. I, I like the exercise. I, um, when I garden, I, I'm intense. Um, I dig, I crawl on my hands and knees, I pull weeds. I'm lugging water and hoses. Um, it, for me, it's, it's a great way to be outside and be physically active. I have a lot of self-esteem that I get from my product of my garden. I like to learn as much as I can about gardening and in many different areas of gardening, basically all the way from starting with uh, tapping maple trees in the late winter, all the way through to harvesting my pumpkins, kind of the A to Z there. The mental health areas of gardening is it kind of helps you self-actualize that um, Dr. Maslow talks about in his levels of needs. From a mental health standpoint, it gives me a community. I, I wouldn't have been connected with uh, McCoy Gardens here or with other master gardeners. We, we have a sense of community together that we talk. I also sit at a booth during the farmer's market when there's no COVID <laughs> virus. It's interesting to just see someone walk by and they kind of look at us and I just say, hey, how's your garden doing? And they come over and they talk and talk and talk and we have that sense of community, which is wonderful. When I was in SDSU here as a student during my, my freshman year, I got to go on this human relations trip with, with one of the churches and we went from reservation to reservation in, in trying to increase our, our knowledge of the Native American culture. Well, we stopped at Mount Rushmore and of course you do when you're out there. Ben Black Elk was the fifth face at Mount Rushmore and uh, he would dress up in the cultural gown and, and allow people to take pictures of him. And he, and he interacted with the, the crowds that came in. Um, they asked him to talk. He said that if you want to listen to God, go to the brook and listen to the needles brush in the wind. Listen for the birds and the hummingbirds coming through. Those are voices, uh, spiritual voices for me. One of the master gardener training I was at, the person said, why don't everyone have an apple tree in their backyard? And I thought, well, that's really a good idea. <laughs> and so I've been promoting apple tree with the third grade group here at, in the school. Last year, I gave away 32 bare root apple trees for them to go home and plant. And that's so rewarding, you know, uh, seeing youth get involved and understand the importance of horticulture in our life. I can't imagine this world without being green at least, you know, six months out of the year.